Midsummer is horrifying, but the costumes are amazing. Recreating Danny's May Queen costume has been a lot of fun, and I am so proud that I did it so cheaply. In this video, I will be working on the beautiful apron. This is a four-part series here on my channel. I also have videos showing how to create the collar, dress, and crown, so check those out. I found a king-size bedsheet at the thrift shop that would be plenty of fabric for the apron, and very inexpensive. Even better, it was half off that day. I started measuring the size of the apron that I wanted to make. I needed one long piece for the waist tie that measures 75 inches long by 4 inches. The apron itself measures 20 by 28. I cut two pieces at that size. Always add a half inch seam allowance. Now these measurements work for me, but yours could be slightly different depending on your height. I rounded the bottom corners. Then I sewed it right sides together. I snipped the rounded corner seam allowance so it would lay flat when I turned it right side out. I ran a one inch stitch all the way around the apron to hold the fabric in place and define where the border design will be stenciled. I folded the long waist tie in half and ironed it to establish the crease. Then I pinned it along the unfinished top edge of the apron, neatly folded in the ends, and I stitched it on. There are three designs on the apron. The first is a thin one that borders the top and the bottom of the large flowers. The second one is also thin and runs around the edge of the apron and along the tie. And the third design features the beautiful large blue flowers. So I got to work making the stencils. I sketched the first design using photos from the film as reference. Then I trace my sketch onto a clear piece of plastic. I did the same for the second design. required a little math. I discovered that the large flowers needed to be five and a half inches wide to match the design in the film. Then I cut all the stencils out using a small pair of scissors, or you could use an X-Acto knife. I found it easier with the scissors. Now it's time to do some stenciling. I'm just using regular acrylic paint because I don't plan on washing this costume, but you can use fabric paint if you want to. The masking tape helps me stay horizontal and straight. I started with this partial blue flower just like the costume in the film. Not sure why they didn't just center the design. Anyway. This is probably the most fun and rewarding part of the process.
Okay, confession time. I actually had to make two aprons because I messed up the first one. I stupidly added water to my green paint and it made my leaves look all blurry and bad. So I had to start all over. Not too much fun. So on my second attempt, I just used the paint straight from the bottle. That's so much better. I wanted a sort of faded look on all the thin border designs. I accomplished that with the same paint by using a dryer brush and stenciling it quickly. On to the last design, which I stenciled all around the edge of the apron. And finished it all up along the tie. So that's the apron. I love it even though I did have to make it twice. And here it is with my finished costume, ready for the celebrations. Not a bad match. This is a four part series, so be sure to check out my other videos as we make the rest of the costume. There's also a link in the description to get my stencil designs if you would like to use them on your own costume. Please like and subscribe if you would like to see more projects like this. See you soon!